Hello guys, today I am back with another speed build video and this time I am making a restaurant and I got this idea while I was building the suburban family home. I just got this picture in my head of a seafood restaurant by the sea, very romantic with a lot of hanging lights, looking really cozy at night. So. The back of the building was inspired by a picture that I found on Google of a real restaurant, but I wasn't sure about the front part of the building if I wanted it to be beachy or more modern. Uh, in the end though, I went for a more modern touch to it, but with a lot of woods and greenery to it. And I built this in Oasis Springs because uh, it has a lot of sand. Um, but before I play tested it, I moved it to Windenburg and I actually liked it better in Windenburg. So the thumbnail is actually from Windenburg. So this is the first restaurant that I have built in The Sims 4. I basically just got the game pack and I really wanted this restaurant to be raised up overlooking the sea. But because we don't have constrained floor elevation in The Sims 4, I wasn't sure how to do it. First, I was going to use those normal rocks that we have in build mode uh, but, and scale them up, but those would have cut through the flooring. So then I remembered that we have these stone tables and they have a flat top, so they were just perfect for this. So here you can see me working on the front part of the house and uh, I'm adding a lot of these stone tables to make it look more realistic because they were a bit too flat and wasn't looking very realistic. So you will basically see me go back and add more and more stone to it uh, throughout the entire video basically. Uh, adding a sign because all restaurants need a sign and uh, here I am trying to find a wallpaper that would go and I had this idea that I wanted it to be like a mixture of dark woods and light woods but uh, roofing and uh, wall paints are not my strong side so this was a bit challenging for me and I think I uh, changed it again actually. Adding some greenery to the sides and uh, I wanted to add like a flower or something to the front part but it was hard because uh, you couldn't place anything because it wasn't technically a room so I had to go in again go in again and make it a room but uh, that was harder than I thought so I had to do it like a million times before it worked but um, in the end it does work and it counts as a room so just had to had a bit of a struggle with that thing um, Looking at wallpapers again and uh, here I am adding even more greenery to the sides because I, I wanted this build to be very green, luscious, just very living. Um, so trying to find a nice roof color and again roofing is not my strong side so I chose this uh, yellowy beachy kind of roof texture. The other roof textures had like only dark colors or like pinks and stuff and it didn't really fit and I didn't want a dark roof color so I went with this yellow beachy styled roof color and uh, I think it works actually I'm I'm okay with it so here I am trying to make a C basically um, trying to make it look realistic like a real sea real water well, I guess there's real water in pools as well, but you know what I mean? I wanted it to look like the sea, basically. So, also changing the terrain paints, because I didn't like the orange sand. It looks too much like a desert, and I guess Oasis Spring is a huge desert, but I wanted it to look more tropical, so I chose a, a lighter sand color basically and adding some rocks to make it look more realistic uh, uh, scaling them up making different sizes and adding them to the bottom as well so it doesn't really look good on its own but after adding like these palm trees and some greenery uh, it looks more realistic and nice and um, I wasn't really sure about the the watercolor because uh, there's two different types of bluish uh, watercolor for pools and one is more light blue and this one is more greenish and um, the sea where I live is actually like a dark blue but this is supposed to be like a tropical place so I thought the water would be light blue but I did choose this green, more green um, 
watercolor because the textures are better. Uh, the other color, uh, the textures of that was more poolish, while this looks like it has a bit of waves and stuff to it. So struggling a bit with the uh, the shape of the pool, um, it works okay in the end. And here I am trying out the different pool colors again, just making sure that I was pleased with the one that I chose. And it actually took me a while to decide. And uh, here I am again adding more greenery to the back side of the building and uh, adding this roof trim around the place um, and fixing the greenery at the front because that was getting deleted for some reason. And I hate when that happens, it's so annoying. And uh, then I decided to do some landscaping and uh, I decided to use these ferns to make it look like they're like growing from not inside but like underneath the rocks. I just really, I don't know what my thought behind it was, but it just looked really nice. And uh, even though it's uh, like sand, I decided to add like a few flowers because yeah, flowers can grow everywhere it seems. So I didn't add as much greenery as I would to like a normal build because I wanted to keep most of it sand and like tropical feel, although like tropical places have a lot of uh, greenery, but uh, not like actually on the beach, I feel. And adding some terrain paints, I used two different types of terrain paint, like first this uh, darker sand color and then the dirt, not because I want dirt, but because I want it looked like a shadow kind of, and I felt like it looked nice with a, a bit of shadow underneath the rocks and so on, and uh, just adding uh, more flowers and greenery and uh, more dirty things, <laughs> dirty things, uh, more dirt like underneath the uh, the trees and the the plants. Changing the tiles on the flat roof part and I'll be jumping into the inside, I think. Uh, no, I'll be working on this deck area. It's going to be the dining area where you sit and eat your food. Um, so I wanted the deck area to be open to the inside. Uh, so that's uh, what I was doing there and uh, trying to find wall painting and... Uh, flooring for the inside. It took me a while to be pleased with a color. Uh, I went with this light color on the the walls and uh, with um, a darker um, flooring. Uh, I thought that looked nice and at first I was trying to put the kitchen on the side but uh, it took too, up too much space and I couldn't center the uh, kitchen area thing. Uh, so I decided to try it on the uh, front side of the building instead and I like that way better. I also added two kitchens because uh, uh, there's a lot of places with more than one kitchen and you can get like different types of food from the different type of kitchens. So I thought that maybe one kitchen serves one type of seafood while the other kitchen another type of seafood because this is a seafood restaurant so I don't know I don't remember my thought process behind it at the time I thought it was a great idea but uh, fixing the uh, tiling in the kitchen and I added some bricks in the kitchen actually just to break up the uh, woods a bit and uh, I didn't really want uh, the didn't really want the kitchen to have a wooden tile wooden wall to it because, I don't know, it feels a bit strange to have wood in the kitchen, so um, maybe that's just me, but I, I feel like that's a bit weird. Um, so adding some greenery to the top of the deck and uh, finding some decor for the side of the building. I went for these jumping fishies, uh, metal fishies thingies and um, um, added a light there and... Uh, then I will be start working on this thing and I don't really know what to call this thing uh, but I basically built a different type of furniture. I wanted to raise this fish tank and uh, have counters under it so I could place stuff on it. Uh, the problem with this was the color matching because that's one problem with The Sims 4 that like the counters for one, there's not many counters and they have awful, sorry, awful texture and awful colors to them. And the colors, like it's wooden colors, but they don't match any of the other woods in the game. So 
you end up with like a million different types of dark wood and it was awful but in the end it, it works kind of sort of maybe <laughs> So here I am placing the lights that I had in mind before starting the build because this looks so cozy and nice at night and also in the afternoon and morning and stuff but especially at night it looks amazing and uh, adding some curtains, um, I start off with making them blue and it looks sort of nice but I decided to make them white because white is more romantic and I really wanted this restaurant to be very romantic have a very romantic feel to it like this is the place you go to for your first date or like a very special date or very special moments in general i guess and because i wanted it to have this romantic feel i decided to add these candles and to the couples tables uh the ch uh, the uh, tables with two chairs i decided to make it extra romantic by adding a rose and for the family tables the one with four chairs i felt like a rose was too romantic so i added a menu to that one instead and i wasn't sure here if i wanted to add another table but i did not um and then the back here, uh, it's not going to look like this in the end, I will change it, but I felt like it was looking a bit bland, so um, adding some lights instead at the back, and then I felt like, well, we need some lights at the front too, so I decided to add uh, some hanging lights because that looked quite nice, I think. Again, going to the back side, trying to add some more details to it, I felt like hey we need a bit more greenery because you can never have too much greenery so i stacked up these flowers uh, i thought it looked nice and then i decided here that well i might add another table as well so i added uh, a fourth table and uh, here i am changing this part as well adding some candles to it and then i move on to the bathrooms so both the bathrooms will look the same, just mirrored, so one uh, toilet and uh, just two counters with um, a sink and I realized that I added salt and pepper into the bathroom but I, I like this decorative piece uh, and I felt like it doesn't have to be salt and pepper, it could just be like hand soap or something. And again, the counters in the bathroom does not match the wood in the rest of the building so please can we get more counters and can they please have better textures and better colors not to complain because i mean ea have ea has done a good job with the sims 4 i love the sims 4 but the color swatching is um not the best in my opinion and here i am working on the kitchen and it's basically the same thing with the kitchen uh, as it was with the bathroom, uh, the kitchens are basically mirrored to each other and they look uh, just the same. So adding this cleaning up station thing, I don't know what it is, um, and some wine racks. And then I decided that uh, I wanted to put a shelf in the kitchen, but you could see it from the window outside and that wasn't looking too great. So I changed up the colors of the window so that you could not see out so it, it looked nice and added some wine racks into the kitchen as well then of course you need some lighting in the kitchen and uh, some more decor because that wall was looking a bit too bland and i tried a few different options but i chose that neon sign light thing and then i found these bubbly things like uh, a fish tank but with just bubbles and i decided to to change that decorative piece in the middle and then i uh, added some uh, decor to the walls as well and then i decided that i wanted a, a bar like it'd be nice to have a bar because when you're at the beach you want to have a drink sometime and um there was no room for a bar at the top, so I decided, hey, isn't wouldn't it like be really nice to have a bar like on the beach, like actually on the beach? So that's where I added this, like just under the deck area. 
Uh, but I also didn't want it to be too big, so it's just this bar and these four bar stools and the rock was glitching through the wall, so I just moved it a bit. And then I added these warming lights, the lights that give out heat, because I imagine it can get a bit chilly at night at the beach. So also adding some hanging lights and of course saving the game because that's that's important and uh, then i added these yoga mats uh, to make it look like towels because it's a beach and uh, people would be on the beach i imagine um so uh, changing them to different colors and adding some train paint to make it look like people have been walking around and moving in the sand so um, also added some extra greenery to the bottom of the deck and uh I kept on train painting a bit because uh, I found some places that needed more train paints and um, then I went back to the inside adding some extra details and um, felt like there would be menus about the kitchen so you would actually know what to order although you have a menu at the table so maybe that thought wasn't as clever as I thought and um, yeah more greenery to the entryway and uh, this nice uh, wall decor piece and then I realized that I had not added any trash cans and uh, even though you're not required to add them uh, for a restaurant I felt like well you need one because where would you put your trash so I made this little nook thing with the trash can in it and added some greenery to the sides of it then i found these um spa day candle artsy thingies and i thought that maybe i could include them in the build but looking at looking at it from a distance it didn't actually look that nice so i decided to go back to the tree hanging things and uh, then I decided to go around the place, just adding a few final touches to the build uh, before deciding it was finished. And we are going to jump into the screenshots in any second now. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, you guys take care.